Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to your channel. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to build her a shelf. Uh, just some kind of throw something together inside the greenhouse here to set basically her flowered pots on. And it needs to be kind of high enough for the tomato plants to grow up. Because, you know, this is just an 8 by 12 greenhouse, so there's not a whole lot of room. But I'm going to put a shelf up high basically just to set, like I said, her potted plants on. Just something just out of the way. I'll get started on that. And what I'm going to do. I'm going to use two befores instead of like one befores, I mean like one by eight, one by 12, something like that. You know, I'm just going to use three two befores. It's overkill, I know, but two befores are cheaper. And it's going to be 10 and three quarter inches wide, the, the, the shelf is. So 10 and three quarters of an inch. So with that being said, I'll get started on this. braces cut I'm gonna go in here and get those screwed up I'll take y'all in there we'll get those screwed up and then I'll put the platform down I really don't know the best place to put this <clears throat> because no matter where I put it it's really gonna be in the way of those tomatoes so I need as high as I can get it so the tomatoes can grow up and kind of around it so I think what I'll do is I'll put it here like right, right here on this brace here. Then I have to come in here with another little brace of some sort to hold it up. But I think that's what I'll do. If I can get it to fit. Oh, holy crap. What do you know? Yeah, I could measure it. I'll just mark it.
what we have right there is a shelf. All right, guys, what I was doing is test fitting it to make sure it's going to fit. And I don't know if my measurements are all kooky kooky, but uh, I measured it for three boards wide, but it came out to be four boards wide. So, either way, I mean, this should be plenty good. So, you're going to put stuff up there like potted plants and stuff like that. So, or storage, you know, just basically anything. So, I have to put a bracer, at least one brace right here. That won't be bad. Whew. Warm. Uh, now I gotta take them back down, take it back apart, and screw them down as I go. These two befores are way overkill for this stuff, but they was cheaper, you know, than buying the other stuff. Buy the brackets, what, five, ten dollars a piece for the bracket. Then the board was 20 bucks, 20, 30 dollars, just one board. So, we're doing it with two parts. So probably why not, what'll happen is, we'll build the shelf up here, I'll build one on the back wall and on that wall too. You know what I mean, like all the way around? Yeah. That's probably what's gonna wind up happening. That way you have plenty of room yeah, I want them all the way around. Yeah. It's kind of a mock up I know how to cut them again because I have to hold them and mark them in here one at a time. Huh. Yeah, the thing is not square, I mean, so, which I don't care, just green, huh? So I have to basically make each board fit individually. Definitely won't go nowhere. Right. All right, guys, we got the we got the shelf put up. If you want to come here and show me the shelf, it's way cheaper than buying a shelf or uh, buying the brackets and you know doing like a one by twelve or whatever, and then buying the metal brackets. So this is way cheaper and a hundred times stouter. So it's four two by fours wide, and I put these brackets, these braces in here. So I mean, you can, you can sleep up there if you want to. But anyway, I'll probably wind up doing that all the way around on the inside. Mm -hmm. You know, that was seed starting and stuff like that. So you can set seed starts and stuff up here too, you know. But, the last thing we're going to do today is, we found this at Walmart. And this is a trellis net. It's what I was going to use out there when I put that wire up for the cucumbers to climb up. 
But we got an idea is I'm gonna open it and I'm actually gonna put it across the back of the greenhouse just in case like a deer or something comes up and tries to eat the plants through the backside or something. I mean, they'll get through this, yeah, but it's, it's better than nothing at all than what it is right now. So this thing went by like four or $5 and it's five feet by 15 feet. So uh, it's just a net, that's all it is. So we'll, uh, we'll get this thing unwrapped and we'll figure out how to hang it and we'll be right back. This thing ain't much. I mean, it's better than nothing, absolutely, but ain't much to it. We got, the, we got the shelf built and put up to where she can put all her stuff up there. We're going to get some more of these aloes. She wants a bunch of aloe plants, and that's where we'll put them all up there because you don't have to water them once a month or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll get those all up there. We did get this net. We actually bought this net to go for the cucumbers, let the cucumbers climb up it. But uh, we did the, the wire instead of the net, the, the fencing wire mm -hmm. out there on the trellis. Um, that's in a different video if you hold you want to check that out but you know we decided to hang it back here we haven't had any problems so far but like maybe if a deer comes up and wants to poke his head and eat our fruits or tomatoes or whatever you know what i mean it can't i mean it can but that's a slight deterrence better than nothing we still don't have a solar panel for the fans yet but we really don't need them yet because we haven't got it boxed in yet once we get the rest of the plastic on i'll be a little bit worried about the fans working but right now i really don't care because it's still wide open so we may next week or two take plastic and just wrap around the outsides of it, you know, around the openings, just for now, and build a door that way it's enclosed in a, a functioning greenhouse. But right now, man, it, it's doing fine the way it is. It's doing perfectly fine the way it is. I'm gonna show you how everything's growing. Yeah. The tomato stalks are getting pretty big. Yeah, some of the tomatoes are, I think, honestly, I think they're overwatered. The yellow, yeah. Yeah, I think we're overwatering the tomatoes. But I did turn that down. I had it on 12 minutes once a day, and I put it on four minutes once a day because 12 minutes, the water absolutely just pours out of the bottom of the buckets. You know, put so much water in there. So I put it on four minutes and it still drips a little bit out of the bucket, but not like it did. So we'll stick with four minutes for right now. And then here's our peppers. And there's our cherry tree bush in the back. And then our potatoes are doing really good. And then some more peppers. These are here, I actually got these, I found these. These are actually Carolina Reapers. Uh, I, tend, I try to grow these every year. I wanted at least two in here just to see how they do. And these are the red ghost peppers. Because he makes hot sauce out yeah. of them. Yeah, these, you really shouldn't keep them so close together because they pollinate. And these red ghost peppers probably be just as hot as these Carolina Reapers. You know, they kind of pollinate each other. Mm -hmm. So it'd be kind of a cross between the two. Based, you know, the, the seeds, if you take the seeds off of one, say if I take the seeds off of this one and plant them, it'd be a cross between the two because they're pollinating each other. So this right here probably be as hot as this, which I really don't care because I'm gonna use them in my hot sauce anyway. So anyway, that's my Carolina Reaper. And there's my garlic and it's doing really good. It's getting really big too. And then we'll go out here and show you these. That's one of the grapevines. And then as you seen in the other video, the cucumber trellis. Here's another grapevine. And then Chris's rhubarb it seems to be doing pretty good these are the blueberries and then these are the hot habanero peppers habanero peppers habanero and habanero oh by the way if anybody's wondering why we have so many of these habanero peppers it's because that was on sale at uh, a big box store 75 cents for a four pack of them so we bought like five or six packs of them. We gave two or three of them away, but I mean, 75 cents, I'm gonna plant them. So. That and I use them in my yeah. salsa when I make my salsa from the tomatoes and stuff. Yep. And we'll do a video on the salsa with the tomatoes and on the pickles with the cucumbers. So there'll be a lot more videos coming up, but that's what we have so far. I'm actually going thinking about taking 
that four before is twisted all kinds of twisted right there you may have to get creative with that because it's, tw it's twisting but anyway uh i'm gonna do the trellis here and over and i might actually come right here and extend this trellis up to that one you know what i mean mm -hmm. let them climb on up and then the grapevine just will have a big trellis thing here mm -hmm. i don't know yet we'll figure it out but kind of i'm kind of leaning to making the trellis go all the way out over to here and then hook it, this one into it it'll be wire like this of course i mean so i think that'd be pretty cool that way we've got all kinds of trellis but anyway guys if you ain't done so yet hit that like and subscribe button it'll help us out help our channel grow a little bit and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Oh, subscribe. There you go. Good job.